Hi everybody from the Peterson Museum. My name is Marv Landon. This is my garage and I want to give you a tour of the garage and some of the cars. So finish line, uh, where these garages are, was considered to be a storage facility for guys like me that have cars and want to have a place to put them. Turned out that everybody made them into mini museums. And they've all got different collections. Some guys are 100% Porsche, some guys are 100% Ferrari. Some are mixed race cars, you know, the new fantastic uh, ultra cars. So it just depends on what you like. But they're all, when we have them all open, uh, you've got a museum here that's pretty interesting to see. So we can start with the little cars. I'd like to explain how I got to them. The 55 T-Bird, when I was a kid, a girl across the street had one, and we used to ride it around Beverly Hills, so that was fun to collect that. The Volkswagen is my son. When he was seven years old, I bought him that as a toy, and we've kept it all these years. The one next to it is a Corvette that the next door neighbor kid had, so we wanted to get one of those. The Porsche, used to see them at FAO Schwartz all the time. We managed to acquire that. And this car, we just got about a month ago, came from uh, Vietnam, and it's a uh, Ferrari California Spider, three speeds forward, gasoline engine, really a cute little car, at least I think so. This is a 1957 Giulietta lightweight sprint, restored by Ron Hein. Uh, it's a 100-point car, very, very desirable. This is, of course, an F8 Ferrari, uh, 2022. Has 400 miles on it. Love to drive this car, though. It drives fantastic. This was a 1967 365 2 plus 2, called the Queen Mother. It's a very nice driving car, 98 points at one of the Ferrari shows. And then here we have a 57 Chevy. This is a Art Morrison chassis, 555 cubic inch, 675 horsepower, Pat Musi engine, Trimic, six speed, 373 gear, all blacked out. We kind of try to make this a stealth looking car. And we've got a 66 Eldorado, barrettes, bucket seats, uh, fully restored. Uh, if you can see, the engine compartment is as nice as the outside. And of course, the car drives and performs perfectly as it did in 1966. We have a uh, 57 T-Bird. This is an E-Bird, two four-barrel carburetors. Uh, restored has a three-speed a later model automatic transmission in it, air conditioning, disc brakes, and came with two four barrel carburetors, We're listed having 270 horsepower. I put later model carburetors on it, electronic ignition, so it's bumping 300. Drives real nice. This is a uh, second car to give us a 60 Falcon Ranchero. This is a clone of that, except it has an overhead cam, 4.6 liter. Uh, Ford V8, five speed, disc brakes, power steering, air conditioning. Runs very nice, performs very well. This is a friend of mine's 70 Chevy uh, pickup truck, 502 V8, two four barrels. Great running truck, beautiful show truck. Sometimes people say, if it doesn't go, chrome it. In this case, we chromed it and it does go. This thing really goes great. So this is my Porsche garage. It's kind of an interesting story behind the Porsches. At the Westlake finish line garages, 
I started here and I said, what kind of car do I need to go on the Wednesday drive? And they said, oh, buy a Porsche and you'll be okay. So I bought a Porsche and the next time we came around, they said, do you have a 356? Do you have a twin turbo? Do you have a Turbo S? So I ended up with all these Porsches so I have the right Porsche for our Wednesday drives. So I started here with a 2017 Turbo S Porsche with 3,000 miles on it. Great car, fun to drive. Then we go to a 1996 twin turbo, 34,000 miles. Great car, a lot of fun, six-speed gearbox. Then this car here, I was lucky enough to find, was Patrick Long, the Porsche race driver, his personal race car, and I was able to buy it a couple of years ago. 330 horsepower, five-speed fiberglass doors, hood, trunk, weighs 2,050 pounds, and just goes like heck. A lot of fun to drive. And this is an Outlaw, 356 Outlaw. Has about 245 horsepower, just a wonderful car to drive, all updated, aluminum doors, a lot of fun to drive. And then the 356 Roadster. There's the Speedster and a Roadster. The Roadster has crank windows, higher windshield for a guy like me, a little better. And this is a wonderful car. I bought it from Bill Fellhorn. Beautiful restoration. This is kind of a tribute garage to my upbringing. My father was in the garage auto repair business. That's a picture there of my father on the left, my grandfather on the right. And of course, he had Lou's garages in Los Angeles, nine of them, and this, this garage is a tribute to that. The little car here is a King Midget, built in 1955, Athens, Ohio. Uh, I had one when I was a kid. It was fun to redo one. 49 Oldsmobile is a Pro Street. My first car was a 49 Oldsmobile. This car has won a lot of shows. Then we have the Model A, Alan Ladd. My father bought it from uh, his widow 50 years ago. I've kept it in the family and it's 100% restored, drives perfect. Then this 1980 Corvette, I bought brand new in Ohio in 1980. The only way you could get a four-speed, they weren't selling them in California. It kept it 10 years, I sold it, bought it back 22 years later, restored it, and of course I have my 1980 Corvette. Then the, this is a 66 Corvette. It's a 427, 390 horse, four-speed, and a very rare car, it has air conditioning, and of course, aluminum wheels, side pipes, uh, power steering, power brakes, electric windows, and uh, love the way the car runs. Something kind of unique. The pictures on the wall are cars, I, mostly the ones I have, but some of the ones I've sold over the years. And uh, it's kind of fun to be able to look and see the cars you've owned. Of course, the Gullwing that was Bruce Myers and Bob Peterson's uh, is up there as well. I just sold that car. And then over here, I have my model cars. And these model cars came from Universal Nissan. Mike Sage sold them to me after his father passed away. And uh, it was 170. It's a nice collection. As you can see, I have another collection of model cars. This one, this, uh, most of these I acquired from Wally Clark, well-known uh, collector in LA. I have a passion for this stuff. I have about 600 of them at home. So overall, there's about a thousand model cars. Danbury Mints and others. And I don't, I don't buy everything of anybody's, but I buy everything I like. This jukebox is from 1963, fully restored, works all the same mechanics. And my wife in 1963 sang a record called Hey Paula that went to number one in the country. Uh, and I purchased this, put her record in it. So 
Well, up here I have uh, posters from the various events I've done. Uh, the 2002 national event for the Ferrari Club, I was on the board and also uh, I've been president of the local chapter uh, of the Ferrari Club. Then 2012, we did it again in Palm Springs. Then on the uh, Concorso Ferrari, that's Pasadena, uh, I put that show on for 12 years, 140 Ferraris on the street. It was very well liked and very well done. And then uh, the Southwest region, which is uh, where I've been, again, president and uh, involved with the club for about 25 years. Some of the trophies I've won for various car shows, Grand National Hot Rod Show, I try to have a car in there every year. Uh, the San Marino Classic is a great car show. Of course, the one that I ran for years, Concorso Ferrari, and others that uh, are very interesting. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the tour of the cars, and hope to see you soon at the Peterson.